wanted to make a video here about a interesting thing about uh, piston engines that uh, probably a lot of people uh, have never noticed. Um, what that is, is a little fact that uh, the piston doesn't move down the same distance in the uh, in the first uh, half of the flywheel rotation. You got it at top dead center there. You move the flywheel to the 90 degree position and the piston, see I put a mark there in the, the cylinder and then there it is right at bottom dead center and I measured this carefully and the piston moves down 59% of the stroke in the first 90 degrees uh, going down and uh, so that only leaves 41% for the second uh, 90 degrees of crankshaft travel. Uh, and this is a common uh, thing on uh, all piston engines. It has to do with the fact that the connecting rod is moving in this position. It's moving over and down at the same time. And then when it's down further, it's moving over uh, and down also, but it's moving towards the center line of the crankshaft, whereas in the top half it's moving away from the center line of the crankshaft. So it results in uh, uh, more piston travel during the first 90 degrees after top dead center than in the uh, last 90 degrees. Um, this is also uh, a reason, uh, one of the reasons why four cylinder engines. Uh, as they get larger they start putting balance shafts on them and things because uh, what this means is that uh, the center of uh, mass between the four pistons in a four cylinder especially uh, changes as a result of uh, this phenomenon so uh, anyways uh, just wanted to point that out to you uh, you know you, you might not believe me when I when I say it but it is a, a design fact of engines that uh, uh, it works that way. Anyway, have a good one.